A warning tonight about people trying to trick you out of your money. Yeah, a caller was posing as an Indiana utility company with some pretty convincing tactics that almost made one man hand over his money. Thankfully, he didn't, but he's sharing his story tonight with WRTV Stephanie Wade. They knew the right stuff to say. Paul William Barrett Sr. received a call from what showed up on his caller ID as AES Indiana, saying he was behind on his electric bill. And then he says, uh, there's nothing wrong except for you because of our transition. Your payments may not have been processed. The caller mentioned the transition from IPL to AES might have caused the problem and Barrett needed to pay today in order for services not to be cut off. I said, well, that doesn't make sense because I was just online looking at my account. Barrett kept inquiring, eventually asking for a supervisor. And he says, OK, hold on and then I'll get a supervisor for you. And then the next in the next 30 seconds or less, they hung up. He immediately called the number back, and it was AES's actual number, another terrifying tactic, only to find out from the actual utility company it was a scam. It's sad because people are living in a time where they may be just coming out of the pandemic, they may be behind in bills, and somebody's taking advantage of them. Don't believe what is on your caller ID. You can get an app now that will actually disguise the caller ID so you can make that caller ID look like whatever you want. In this case, although it may have said AES on the caller ID, Tim Maniscalco with the Better Business Bureau says Barrett was certainly not speaking with the utility company. Now that, you know, IPL has been purchased by AES, it's not surprising that they're trying this because once again, it sounds kind of believable and though they can craft a story that makes it sound, boy, yeah, okay, uh, there has been a change of ownership here, maybe something's going on. So this is a typical sort of tactic and they look for these types of opportunities. It's just heartbreaking that people would take advantage of people who may be vulnerable and there's no way to recoup the, to recover the funds. It's just heartbreaking. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. If someone calls you out of the blue and says you're behind on your bill, the BBB warns not to give them any money right away. They recommend calling the actual company's customer service line directly to confirm. They also want you to report if something like this happens to you on the BBB scam tracker online. You can view scams going on right now in your area. It's also a way to warn others about scams happening near them.